It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC North. It's the Bengals and the Browns, all that and more, coming up next. We are within shouting distance of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football on the lakeside here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. But today, no way to get around. We jump right into an AFC North battle in week one as it will be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. new season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports taken at the goal line and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense as we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft Patrick Mahomes and simply put for many He's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Two plays so far. Run and a pass attempt. And both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Back to throw here. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. He'll take it at the 42. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On second down, here's Penny. And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. Coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Pulled in at the 24. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here come the Bengals now to take over. 
They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Oh, this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now a second and ten. Here's Rodgers. Under pressure and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you can actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now third down and very long. Now Rodgers. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Here's A.J. Cole now to pump this one away. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. On first down, Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, what a start to the season here. Cincinnati and Cleveland, AFC North rivals, Ohio rivals. I don't know what to make of this division. It feels like anyone could win it, including these Browns. And you're right about that. And how historic would that be if Cleveland did rise up and take the division? So far since we've gone to this format, they have not won the division title. They're eager, they're excited, and they believe that this could be their year. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and ten. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23 yard line. And he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes. The quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. A quick throw, but incomplete. How about that red man coverage? He decided to test him early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now the veteran of a handful of teams, it's Chase Edmonds. And able to work his way down to the 16. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now here's Mahomes. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Van Jefferson, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Browns take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Lux with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Officially, that will be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at their own 42. Here's Mahomes to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to set right out of the gate. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon. And what I mean by that is... He's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 28. 
The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. And Bengals on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Now it's Rodgers. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Marquise Brown, 27 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Cleveland offense making their way out. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Four receivers now in the formation. Three to the left, one to the right on second and seven. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Partner, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Aaron Rodgers in the offense heading back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Looking for the out route. He's got a complete to Kittle. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They'll run with Patterson. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. First the incompletion, first the minute going for three. It's Tyler Boyd. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point splits the uprights. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And 
and beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they fall in behind, but having they put them that they go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He'll get this underneath Edmonds, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Third and two. Brings up third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bengals getting set to go. And their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, it's gotten them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap. allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. That big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Rodgers to throw on second down. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. This is caught. It's Boyd. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Patterson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. One more time with Patterson. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Quick slant to Brown. Touchdown. Aaron Rodgers. 
Rodgers. Three first half touchdown passes. And the Bengals have taken a two touchdown lead now. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 21-7. to so an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Mahomes will try again on second down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him, maybe even the third person in the area, and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while, because I don't know that their talents are his, because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. A bad false start penalty there, now second and six. Now Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been out with this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And they will take over first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. There again is Cooks complete. And he'll wind up picking up about four, as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the third. And pick up a 24 on the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of things we need to hit. I think they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half. Well, this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. A 
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown. Chase Edmonds taking it in from the 20. And the Browns get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short. They got that. No problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out to the half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Rodgers throw into the hands of Pittman here. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Kawhi Williams. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that the last drive instead of throwing the interception. To throw is Rodgers. A throw out right going to be incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here. And maybe start to tip down a little bit in the middle. The other side is starting the game. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now drive this started with great field position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. 
Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. A throw for Boy, but it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. And he'll get them inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again, they run with Edmonds. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's going to be caught for the Browns touchdown. Jordan Reed, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Browns take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. To a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been five. And going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up. That's exactly how they drew it up on the board. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They'll need to regroup after the costly interception last time. It led to a tying touchdown. 21 all is where we stand, and they've got it first and 10. On play action, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brings up second down. Patterson running between the tackles and not much doing there maybe a yard up to the 23. Well that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah don't be surprised now a little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now throwing on third down there but he cannot connect. And that's where this Cleveland crowd the dog pound in particular make it difficult on a Offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Browns getting set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. The fact is just a battle of wins in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Bengals grab it. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback 
with that time frame and anytime you didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is just what you're talking about training him to understand this is the amount you have make sure the ball's gone didn't happen in this case now after the fumble recovery it's Rodgers and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On play action, now Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep and a play action now for Rodgers. He lost nine there. That's really going to set him back for second down. Throwing is Rodgers. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That'll go for a gain of seven. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Bengals have moved out in front. And that third counter there gives them the lead. And it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. Extra point forthcoming. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Throw left side is complete to Reed. He had the touchdown earlier, and this one's going to get him the first down. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. One thing we know about RPO throws, they don't take long to develop. He had him wide open to the outside, hit him with it, but I think his eye we're looking downfield trying to see that open grass ends up dropping it that's a missed opportunity and that one into the hands of Brown downfield and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 41 yard line I'll tell you what a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them and these guys have been taking advantage so far so they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. 
Edmonds running out of the shotgun. He'll get this down to the 38. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Same way to our teams so not going to talk about him anymore. Because he was really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I don't know if that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw might have been a little too far. He brings up third down. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Well, he had a man open, but he missed it, and it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. No return, but it goes down. It's just a punt of 31 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They run with a third-year man, Chuba Hubbard. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and nine. Here's Mahomes to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. He's hoping to take what has been a good game here and make it a great game. But so far, solid, and we're, and we're still in the third quarter. And there's nothing wrong with solid. You want to be that. You want to be reliable. You want to be a guy that puts your team in a position to have a chance to win. And that's what we're seeing from him. And there's also that added element that maybe it can become a little bit more as this game goes on. He'll try to make it more here on this drive. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Now Rodgers. And this throw incomplete. Look at the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Right to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. 
first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Fair catch signal for it and taken at about the 15-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first down, Mahomes. And Cooks has it over the middle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and five. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 37. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 official. What the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the four. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Sack him back right at the midfield strike. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The Browns send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? No, we'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. Now Rodgers. Looking left side of his guy, man. That's Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10, it's Patterson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 39. Here's second down of the yard. Once more, they turn to Patterson. Able to avoid him. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point. Right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll come up second and seven. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. 
Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime the ball thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch it. Don't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's set. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Another sack in the Josh Sweat toe. It not be surprised many for the Pro Bowl season 2021. I'm still not sure how many people knew that much about him entering that campaign. They certainly do now. After he built upon that prior season with a career high 11 sacks in 2022. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Mahomes now on first down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now is Mahomes. And got his man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say so make a play? And that's one of the favorite routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Short throw to Smith. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and three. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the pick up, first down. Here's a give to Edmonds running to the right. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll get a nice jump there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Another carry now for Edmonds. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding is you. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing. The team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he stopped immediately there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throw the left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Following the play here, now we've got an injury. 
Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. On third down, they run with Edmonds. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So a big one coming now for Will Lutz from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll bring him back within four. It's an interesting call there to take the three, but I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler, rather more complex, in order to try and fashion together a drive. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he will have a Bengals first down. And it's celebration time on that sideline. And they've earned it. And they will take a knee here. Straight ahead, Patterson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, he got it done. Nursing that slim lane, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this. Yep, that knee gets them to one and out. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Cincinnati, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be on the road next week as they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.